In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an EMA in Shredding View, and I'll also show you how to customize them. Anyway, it's very easy to do once you know how, so let's get started. So first things first, go to your Trading View dashboard, and of course, create a chart. I'll just choose GBP USD. Now to add an EMA, come up to the top of the screen, and click on indicators. Next, go to the search here, type in moving average exponential, and you'll see it underneath technicals just here. Now I have favorited it, and you can also do this by clicking the star next to it, and then it will show up here in your favorites tab. Now you can click on this multiple times to add more than one. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just add two. Now you can see it's added the indicator, this blue line here, but it's only showing one of them when we've added two. And that's because they are both the same by default, nine EMAs. You can change them by coming to the indicator list here and clicking on the settings cog next to the one you want to change. Now under the inputs tab, you can change everything in here. So let's change this indicator to a length of 20, for example, and then click OK at the bottom of the box to save it. Now you can see both indicators, but let's say you still can't tell the difference because they're both blue. If we go to the settings cog again, then click on style here, you can change the color of the line and the thickness of the line. So let's click on color and change it to orange, and then change the line thickness to make it a bit thicker. Now if we press OK and go back to the chart, as you can see, we can easily tell which indicators which by seeing the 20 EMA up here is orange. And we of course made it a bit thicker on the chart and the nine is blue. So I hope this helps you to understand how to add an EMA and change the settings in TradingView. If this video helped you out, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more useful tutorials just like this one. And if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below and I'm sure I can help you out. Anyway, take care. Bye bye.